Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dilip Kumar. Today in this video, let's talk about uh, a very interesting as well as a very useful plant. It this is abundant in nature. This plant name is uh, some people call it as uh, tawa tawa, and some people call it as uh, snake hair or snake weed or cat's hair and garden sparge, hairy sparge you know pill bearing sparge so many people call with uh, so many different names in different regions and uh, this scientific uh, name is euphorbia, euphorbia hirta and uh, it belongs to the family of uh, euphorbiaceae and uh, this is commonly you know uh, called as uh, asthma weed because mainly it's uh, used for uh, treating asthma and uh, related uh, diseases that we will talk in uh, later part and uh, this is you know commonly grown in uh, uh, wastelands agriculture lands open grasslands and uh, roadsides and uh, you know pathways uh, this is you know uh, it is uh, traditionally used in the treatment of asthma that is why it's called as uh, asthma weed or uh, several uh, lung uh, related uh, respiratory diseases uh, it's uh, used this weed is uh, widely distributed throughout the tropical regions of the world uh, commonly found in lawns gardens footpaths in philippines it is uh, called tawa tawa and in australia it is uh, known by the name cat's hair it is an annual herb growing uh, throughout the year it grows well in uh, dry environmental conditions uh, light sandy and medium loamy soils are suitable for its uh, growth it uh, requires bright sunlight and hence doesn't uh, grow in shades it's usually grows to an height of uh, you know 40 centimeters in height the leaves are simple occur in opposite pair of uh, you know opposite pair on the stem and they are dark green colored on the upper surface and pale green on the lower surface sometimes they uh, they also show red or purplish green color they are toothed uh, ridged at the edges stems are rounded or uh, tender hairy uh, several stems emerge or grow from a central tap root they are red or purple or lavender in color it has many branches from base to top one important uh, feature of this plant is uh, it contains uh, uh, abundant uh, you know uh, milky sap uh, this sap you can see when you uh, break this uh, uh, when you cut this uh, you know stem you can find uh, abundant you know milky sap or uh, latex uh, this is uh, used actually uh, in you know many uh, it contains lot of uh, medicinal uh, properties this is the sap and even in leaves also you can find such uh, uh, latex uh, flowers are uh, uh, this is about you know stem part and uh, latex part and uh, flowers are pulp purplish or uh, brown red uh, lavender in color they lack petals uh, you can observe there are no petals in this uh, you know flowers uh, they occur in clusters at each leaf node of uh, flowers are unisexual that is uh, you know male and uh, female flowers exist separately on uh, same plant in uh, clusters uh, they are pollinated by insects uh, these plants uh, flower very early when the plant is still young and uh, the seeds have very lesser dormancy period and they germinate immediately thus rapidly increasing the population of uh, you know weeds uh, fruit is in the form of uh, airy yellow capsule uh, fruit from a single plant can produce up to 3000 uh, you know tiny four sided uh, seeds uh, this plant is widely used in uh, traditional herbal medicine in many regions and uh, countries of the world uh, to say something about uh, its uh, nutritional value it is uh, rich in uh, protein uh, you know beta carotene vitamin c sodium uh, potassium calcium and various other micronutrients it contains uh, 
triterpenes, phytosterols, you know, uh, tannins, uh, polyphenols, and uh, flavonoids. This plant has various uh, medicinal properties such as antibacterial, uh, anti diarrheal, anti malarial, anti asthmatic, anti inflammatory, you know, uh, anti uh, oxidant uh, uh, properties. Uh, traditionally, it is uh, names as you know, name suggested uh, this plant uh, used for uh, treating uh, you know, asthma. A and uh, uh, this about uh, one more, some more features about uh, when there is a uh, you know, uh, uh, features about uh, this plant is and you know, uh, as I said, it is used for uh, respiratory problems, it is uh, treated and when there is a panic. Uh, uh, asthma attack, it is uh, rubbed on the heart of that uh, person's, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, on that uh, heart of that uh, person. In Philippines, this plant is uh, used to treat dengue fever. Its uh, leaves are uh, boiled uh, and, uh, you know, prepared decoction or tea, which when consumed uh, increases the blood platelets. The tea prepared from the leaves of this plant has uh, anxiolytic, uh, anxiolytic properties, means uh, it reduces the anxiety levels. It is used to treat uh, diarrhea and various other gastrointestinal you know, problems such as uh, dysentery. This herb is used for treating warts. The milky sap or latex produced by the leaves and stems of this plant is applied over, uh, uh, you know, the the milky sap or uh, latex. So this is the sap, you know. I show it uh, earlier also. Um, this sap, you know, we get it from both uh, stems as well as uh, leaves. Uh, produced by these leaves, you know, like uh, stem sap, this uh, plant is applied over uh, such warts for uh, up to 15 days and it is uh, known to cure such uh, warts. And also it is used in the treatment of uh, boils and to heal wounds and uh, skin infections, scars and uh, blemishes on uh, skin. This plant's decoction is used to treat uh, warm infection in uh, children and a proper uh, bowel movement. The paste of you know, leaves with uh, cow milk is used to treat itching and uh, liver, tissue, uh, liver issues. It is also known to increase milk secretion in lactating mothers or you know, women. Its uh, extract is uh, also used as uh, hair drops. Uh, Actually, even I came to know even we are using these uh, leaves uh, as a you know uh, for uh, in our uh, vegetable uh, curries. Uh, you know, my family members told me uh, as you know we are using these uh, we are consuming it uh, since many years. But uh, I, I was not knowing as you know uh, this was also used for curries. But uh, when I was when I was talking with my uh, family members then they told me and uh, these are some of the uh, extraordinary features about uh, this plant uh, you should not uh, mistake on this plant uh, for uh, another uh, plant uh, such as uh, you know mitra corpus uh, hirta that uh, here there is a plant uh, that i'll show you observe it uh, carefully uh, uh, come, I will show this Mitra Corpus uh, uh, Hirta. Uh, this is the plant. Mm, e these two plants uh, look somewhat similar, but you know, you should not uh, mistake on it. I will just uh, keep a stem here so that uh, you can uh, see the uh, you know difference. These both. Uh, Anyway, in our next video, we will talk about uh, uh, you know uh, this plant uh, called you know Mitra Corpus Hirta that uh, will uh, talk about its uh, it has got its own uh, you know medicinal uses. And uh, thank you so much for you know 
watching our uh, video uh, if you have any doubts you can uh, text in uh, comment sections and uh, uh, please let us know what should be the video subject video content in our next video please hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much